Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. In today's video, we'll look at how to change your DNS servers on your Kali Linux machine. Now, there's a few reasons why you want you might want to change the DNS servers or the IP addresses for your DNS. And one of the reasons is if you're trying to get faster speeds, because uh, by default, the DNS servers you'll be using are the ones maintained by the ISPs. And your ISP's uh, DNS servers might not be as fast as the public ones. Another reason is that some of the DNS servers, they log all your browsing uh, activity online. And you might want to use the ones that don't do the log. They don't maintain the logs of all the websites that you visit. So uh, the first thing we'll do is check what DNS servers we're using. And one common command for doing that is um, NSLOOKUP. And you can just type a, a website here. Let's go with uh, google.com. And this command allows us to check uh, the servers that are configured. So the server we have here is 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is uh, Google's uh, public DNS server. And also we are seeing here that it resolved google.com to uh, its IP right here. So this command not only shows us the server IP, it also can be used to troubleshoot. If you don't get a result for the website you type in, then you, you know you're having issues with your DNS. Another place we'll, you can check what's configured is a file called um, resolve.config, and this is where the DNS server's IP addresses are configured. So we can use a cut command here, etc. resolve.conf, and these are the two NAM servers we have, the 8.8.8 uh, .8 .8 is the primary, and then this is the 8.8.4.4 .4 is the uh, secondary. Now, in order to find public or free available DNS servers, you can Google this. You can open your browser and Google for that information. So we can say DNS server free, and let's say, Let's go with the best free DNS servers, public DNS servers. And it should give us a list. As you can see here, for, we have Google's uh, DNS servers. And then there's a bunch of other uh, providers. Another, most, uh, another popular one is the Cloudflare, the 1.1.1 and uh, 1.0.0.1 and we can actually change to this using the file the resolve.conf file so we'll go ahead and make those changes on our machine so we'll go back to the terminal here actually and then we'll edit the file so let's do Use nano to edit the file. Now, one thing you might run into, it says the, it's unwritable because this file is um, immutable. That means you can't edit it. So we just have to use a few commands to make it mutable or editable. Uh, so the command to do that is going to be sudo chttr minus i etc resolve config and now we'll do the use nano to open the file again and then we'll change this so go ahead and uh, make the changes so the ip was uh, 1.1.1.1 Actually, you can even mix and match. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, leave the second one as 8.8.4.4. .4. We'll do control O to right, and then we press enter. Control X to exit. We'll do the cut command again. And the changes has been made. We'll go ahead and make the file immutable so we'll use the command same command we used earlier we'll just change it to a plus i so 
So it's going to be class I. It should make it immut immutable here. We'll just verify that. We will use the NS lookup again to make sure that it's still working. And this time, the server that we used is the 1.1.1. .1 and we were able to get the google.com website resolved to an IP address. So that's a quick way to make changes to your DNS server information on Kali Linux. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks. Bye.